Hello, everybody. Good morning. It's so good to see you all here on a beautiful morning in Hartford. My name is Sally Whipple. I'm the executive director of the Old State House, and we are really happy to be here with you today. This building is the place where history meets up with civics, and that's very important because you can't understand the world without history, and you can't change it if you don't know anything about civics. So we put those things together, and we feel that civics is face to face. You have to have a community. You have to talk to people, listen to people, get to know people. And that is what builds community and makes civic action happen. And you also have to welcome people and inform people if you want an engaged citizenship. So we feel it is very appropriate for the old state house to serve as Hartford's official welcome and information center. We will provide, oh, thank you, thank you. Animals the animals clap. <laughs> For years, the Greater Hartford Arts Council and the Hartford um, Business um, Improvement District have run welcome centers in Hartford, and they have done a wonderful job providing people with information, and some of our friends from those groups are here, and we appreciate what they've done, and we build on what they've done. During the time that they were serving as information centers, people were also walking through these doors looking for information. It's a natural place for people to stop. And we have answered all kinds of questions. So people will come in and ask us the usual things you would expect. Where is the Wadsworth Athenaeum? How do I get to the Mark Twain house? How do I take a bus? And then people ask all kinds of questions that you would never expect anyone to ask at the old state house. But we answer those questions as best we can. And that is something that we've earned a reputation for. And now, from large groups coming through from conferences and events at the Connecticut Convention Center and the Excel Center to new residents moving into CD CRDA-sponsored apartments, we anticipate even more people coming to this building for information, and we plan to give that information. Convention Center guests and tourists are looking for places to buy goods that reflect Hartford and Connecticut, so we have reopened our um, gift shop now, and we plan to increase what we sell there over time. You can see it today. It's starting out kind of small, but it's going to grow over time, and people will also be coming here looking for information. If you live in Hartford, hey, what can I do this weekend? If you work in Hartford, what can I do tonight? Um, and if you're visiting here, where are the places that the regular Hartford people go to so we can get to know what Hartford is really like, the spirit of Hartford? So we plan to give out all of that information. And today we're cutting a ribbon to mark the recognition of the old state house as Hartford's information center. We're not opening the doors to something that's gonna look a lot different right now, but we are opening the door to our startup shop and we are opening the door to a world of information that will grow over time. We're calling it a ribbon cutting, but we could be calling it a ribbon tying because we think that the old state house is a place that can help people join together to serve our city and our state. So we think of this, this effort as pulling people together and organizations together more and more over time to offer more and more to the people of Hartford and Connecticut and the people who are visiting with us. Um, this will be an ongoing growth process and we're lucky to reach this starting point with a very strong team. I would like to recognize a few people and groups um, today there are many of our friends um, in the audience, and um, I was going to name a few, but there are so many that it's hard to name all of them. But we have people here from different museums, from the tourism department, from the business improvement district, from Greater Hartford Arts Council, from all over, and it is really so wonderful to have you all here. Um, and also, we have Chompers, and we have Sonar. <laughs> the athletics have a table here and the good folks from Coltsville are here every week to tell people about what's going on at our new national park. I'd also like to thank Jackie Mandyke of the iQuilt Partnership and Terrell Mitchell-Smith of the Capital Region Development Authority for their help and moral support in all of this. You really couldn't work with better people or people who love Hartford more. I would also like to find the next page of my notes. And, um, hmm, well, that's embarrassing. I would also like to thank um, 
the Galicki Family Foundation. This is an organization that is so good to Hartford. They are such good friends to Hartford and special friends to this project. And so we would like to thank Ted and Mary Galicki for their thoughtfulness about Hartford and their action. And I'd like to thank my colleagues here at the Old State House who work very hard, particularly Nicole Souza and Samantha Gorski, who planned this event and are bringing our new shop and information center to life. And next, I am so happy to welcome Mayor Luke Bronin to the podium to share some of his thoughts today. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much, Sally, for all the work that you and your team have done to make this possible. Uh, and uh, it, it's hard not to feel excited to begin with, but then when you see the enthusiasm of chompers and sonar, it's really uh, infectious. Um, I, I want to just, first of all, echo all the thanks that Sally uh, gave to, uh, to IQUIL, to CRDA, to Ted and Mary Galicki, uh, who uh, are committed in so many ways to this city. You know, it, it's been a beautiful thing to see this historic building uh, become a center of activity and energy again. And, you know, we're here on the day that the farmer's market is, uh, is out. And so I also want to just say thank you to everybody who makes the farmer's market possible, to the Garmony Fund, to Hartford Food System, you know. Uh, just just walking down the street and seeing people out here uh, in this beautiful courtyard, uh, hearing the music played, uh, it's been such a, a wonderful thing to see, and I'm, I'm grateful to everyone who made that possible. And we have so many incredible things in this city. You know, we've got so much to share. Whether you're talking about sports with the Wolfpack or the Yard Goats or the athlete, Hartford Athletic, whether you're talking about you know our theaters, the Hartford Stage or Theater Works, our museums, uh, the Hartford Athenaeum, uh, the Mark Twain House, the Harriet Beecher Stowe House, the incredible community organizations, the incredible community theater, the music and dance all around this city, the incredible cuisine we have in every neighborhood. There is so much to share, and yet, whether you're visiting, or whether you work here, or whether you live here. Uh, it's not always been easy to find one place where you can go and get that information. And so to have this historic building uh, now also be the welcome center officially for the city of Hartford, I think is a great way to continue to spread the word about all the things that we have going on in this city. Uh, so I'm so grateful to everybody who made it happen. Uh, I want to give a special uh, shout out uh, also to uh, the Office of Legislative Management, which uh, you know, helps to fund and, and manage the, this uh, uh, site. But most importantly, to our state representative and the majority leader in the House of Representative, Representative Matt Ritter. Uh, you know, there was, there was the threat a couple years ago that this historic building would go dark. And because of the leadership of our delegation, and especially Matt Ritter, uh, we not only avoided uh, what would have been such an unfortunate uh, closure, but we had the chance to keep it open and then begin reimagining how we could use it, how we could use this historic building as the center for sharing information about everything that's happening today. So uh, to State Representative Ritter, thank you. And again, everybody who made this happen, thank you. Uh, it's a great thing. I look forward to stopping in here to make sure that I'm not missing because more and more I discover the day of that there's something great happening in the city that I didn't even know about it, and I think that's a good thing. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. Um, our organization is a nonprofit, the Connecticut Public Affairs Network, and we are very, very proud to operate Connecticut's Old State House on behalf of the Connecticut General Assembly. Thanks to our legislative leaders' commitment to preserving this historic landmark, and it is a national and state historic landmark, we're able to share it with everyone, from our close neighbors to people a little farther away and people from all over the world. In our role as Hartford's official information center, the building's service to Connecticut will continue to grow, and that's good for all of us. And I really personally thank uh, the General Assembly for having the vision for this building and the will to keep it in such wonderful shape and to enable us to do all kinds of different programs and services with it. Um, we really appreciate that. And so now, with deep thanks and gratitude, I would like to welcome um, House Majority Leader and State Representative Matt Ritter to the podium to share his thoughts. Thanks, Sally. 
Thank you, Sally, and to the mayor and to the, the mascots to my left and right. No one tell my four-year-old daughter, Emma, that Chompers was here. No offense, Sonar. She has a real liking and likes to tug on you, so I apologize for that. Um, and thanks to the mayor, who didn't have a busy week at all. He looks pretty well rested for a guy who's been uh, going 24-7 for a long time. Uh, no one often says the General Assembly has great vision, so we do appreciate that compliment. And uh, it really has been interesting as a guy born and raised in Hartford um, to now be a legislative leader, work with Jim Tambor and his team on legislative management. It's not just the old state house, right? It's not just the operation of that. It's really Hartford as a whole. And our job, my job, the delegation's job, the mayor's job, the city council, is to make the case that this is bigger than the city of Hartford, right? The old state house is not a Hartford treasure. It's not a Hartford institution. It's a statewide institution. It's an American institution. Somewhere where, where George Washington has been matters to the entire United States of America. And we can't lose sight of that. And too often, and, and the mayor's done the tour and talked about it, we sort of look at our cities and say, that's your lot, you deal with it. And we have to remember we're a small state and we're all interconnected. So when you open the old state house to visitors, when you have CRDA, I see Michael Freemuth here and the work that they do, when you're adding apartments downtown, when you talk about the Excel Center, when you talk about parks in Hartford, that's not just a Hartford issue, it's not just for Hartford residents, everybody can enjoy that. And it's the cultural things that bind a state together. It's the history that binds us all together that I think is really important. So what makes me excited today is not just because it's a great day for Hartford, but I can go back to the other legislative leaders, the other five, and say the impact, the investment that we're making in downtown Hartford is going to help everybody. So I hope this continues. I actually work in my other life right behind here. I've noticed the difference coming here with the music and, and, the, and the food market and the fresh fruit. You see a big difference. People gather here now for lunch, the food trucks. It makes a big difference in your city when you walk through and see it. So congratulations to everybody. It's, it's a wonderful day, and it looks like we have a ribbon to cut, and I appreciate the invitation. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and now um, we will cut the ribbon, and we are really looking forward to that, and I hope that um, after the ribbon cutting, some of you will come and enjoy our new shop. It's small still, but I think you would like looking at it. And we'll also have a concert happening. And of course, as always, feel um, free to wander the farmer's market and buy some nice fresh produce. So, shall we cut the ribbon? Let's do it. Don't have me do it. That's all I know. Don't have you Those do it. Those scissors are very big. Well, we have two sets. <laughs> Give one to you and the mayor. How about that? <laughs> I trust the code over me. All right, I'll do it. Right. Just have a nurse on hand, okay? Ready? All right, you guys hold it tight. <laughs> 